My name is Lisa, and I live with my parents and my older sister, Briar, in a family of four. Briar has been a somewhat famous child actor since she was young. My parents tried to make me a successful child actor too, hoping to earn money from my fees. However, I wasn't very successful as a child actor. When I reached middle school, Hey, look at this, I got featured so prominently again this month. Oh, really? Lisa, you should work on your appearance more, since you've been a child actor too. Do you even realize you're my sister? Your fashion sense is the worst. I think I'm just normal. Your normal is considered lame by everyone else. I'm working on my homework right now, can you please not bother me? By this time, Briar had started to gain popularity as a reader model. As Briar steadily climbed the ladder of stardom, our parents became even more fond of her. Eventually, when I was in my third year of high school. What, you're planning to go to college? You can't afford that, can you? Huh? But I've already been accepted. You're so carefree, Lisa. I mean, I have my own earnings, but you're just living off our parents, leeching off them. I plan to take a scholarship loan and increase my part-time work hours. But that's after you enroll, right? You don't have the entrance fees yet. Oh my, Briar is such a thoughtful child for worrying about that. A true role model as a sister. Lisa, you have such a good example right beside you. You need to take a leaf out of her book and put in more effort. It's definitely better to be independent early on, right? Otherwise, living off others just leads to a lazy lifestyle, you know? Briar is not just kind, she's also very responsible. She's our pride and joy. You're right. Okay, I understand. After that, I went to my aunt and uncle's house. My aunt is my mother's sister, and they are kind people who have always been very affectionate towards me since I was young. Despite my sudden visit, they welcomed me with their usual smiles. When I told them about my situation at home, they offered for me to stay with them and commute from there. After I started living at my aunt and uncle's house, when we were kids, people always said college students have no money. And it's true. Maybe it feels that way more because I have to handle everything myself living alone. In high school, I never thought about utility bills or rent. Well, let's do our best. We got into college, after all. Yeah, you're right. Let's give it our all. He is Noah, whom I met at university. We got along best, shared high aspirations, and grew together, stimulating each other. A few years later, I had business at a TV station and went there. Inside, I saw my parents and Briar at the same site. Um, good morning. Good morning, Aying. Are you the new person today? Nice to meet you. This is Briar, a successful model. You seem unknown, though. You know about Briar, of course, don't you? Ah, uh, yes. If you take our daughter as your role model, You'll surely become popular too. They haven't recognized me at all. Well, that's just fine. What's up? Oh, nothing. Looking forward to working together on the shoot. We had a brief conversation, but none of them recognized me. If that's the case, it would be less troublesome. I hoped the recording would go smoothly without any issues. While checking the progress, I encountered someone. Isn't that Lisa? Long time no see. Are you here for the recording today? Producer. Good morning, thank you for everything last time. I've been wanting to have you on the show again. What a coincidence. But if I ask you directly, it might be considered poaching, huh? No problem at all. I'll report it properly later. Wait, producer. Don't bother with such an amateur. Using me would definitely get better ratings. Yes, you can directly deal with us, no problem. You don't need to go through an agency. Just talk to Briar directly, it's totally fine. Oh, Briar is here too. Are you here for today's recording? Yes, Glamour is important for a show, right? They contacted me saying they had an open slot. Ah, uh, so it's a replacement for someone who couldn't make it, something like that. Not exactly. It's more like our Briar was luckily chosen for this opportunity. Witnessing this exchange, I realized that some things never change, even after many years. The producer seemed clearly perplexed. Thinking that I couldn't let them trouble him any further, I decided to reveal my identity. You seem quite desperate to get work. You're Briar, the former reader model from KST Academy who couldn't get rid of her bedwetting habit until she was 15, right? What? How do you know that? Who are you? 
We haven't made that story public. Wait a minute. That face. Could it be? Long time no see. I'm Lisa, currently an actress with KST Agency. Well, I suppose we were, sort of a family once upon a time. Did you just say KST Agency? You're with that major agency. Yes, thanks to them. I was scouted by one of their agents at an audition where I made it to the final round but didn't win. Scouted by an agency I couldn't even get into no matter how much I begged. How cheeky. Besides, someone like you being here is just presumptuous. Lisa, if you're earning that much, you should be sending money back home. Exactly. Briar has been working hard and thriving in the industry since her child actor days. Thriving at the forefront. I don't know anyone named Briar. Hello, Noah. Are you here for a shoot today, too? Hey, producer. Good to see you. Wait, could it be? These are the faux family Lisa mentioned before. What despicable people. Oh, no way. It's the famous actor Noah. Nice to meet you. It's an honor to meet you. I'm the mother of the super popular Briar. I'm the father. I'm Briar, a popular multi-talented celebrity, originally a reader model. Yeah, but I still have no idea who you are. Briar and our parents began to flatter Noah conspicuously after greeting him. However... Oh my, you look even more wonderful in person. Indeed, you have a completely different aura from others. Um, maybe after work, would you like to go to a bar and have a drink, just the two of us? Could you please refrain from making such inappropriate invitations to my husband? Eh? I said, don't make strange overtures to my husband, Noah. Husband! Noah is your husband, Lisa. I've known about your true colors for a long time. You claim to be a successful celebrity, but you barely have any work now, right? That's not true at all. Oh, Noah, you're so funny. Haha. -ha. In fact, Noah, whom I met in college, became a famous actor. I also joined a major agency and have been thriving as an actress. We achieved our dreams and got married a while ago. On the other hand, Briar now hardly has any significant work and her earnings have decreased substantially. I don't know if you can't let go of your past glory or what, but that kind of flirtatious and fawning behavior is quite unseemly. Shut up. I have more experience than you. I can get work anytime I want. That's easy to say. Today's job is something you took because you had nothing else. Earlier, you were even pestering the producer in a pushy way. There's no such thing as first class or third class. It's about professional conduct, you know? Promoting oneself is a natural part of the job, isn't it? Getting known by various people is also part of business. What business? You're delusional and persistent. Realize that everyone is annoyed by you. After 20, you're just another person. When I walk down the street, everyone turns to look at me. Even now, when I show up at the TV station, everyone notices me. Of course they look at you when you make such a racket. What? They probably turned to look because your fashion sense is atrocious. Don't be rude. I was a child actor and a reader model, you know. But all that is in the past. What do you have now? Briar, her face flushed red at Noah's words, seemed to be grappling with the harsh reality of his statements. It appeared that my parents had overly praised Briar and she, in turn, had become overly confident. Suddenly, amidst this conversation, my parents began. Lisa, dear, this reunion here must be some kind of fate, don't you think? Fate? Don't you feel it's a fateful reunion? Not at all. In fact, you didn't even recognize me when I greeted you. I wished you hadn't. Oh, Lisa, don't be so cold, please. Lisa is as precious to us as Briar, our lovely daughter. If you have something to say to Lisa, be direct, not roundabout. After you've only cared about the girl all this time, what are you trying to say now? Please, Lisa, to be honest, Briar hardly gets any work these days. There's hardly any income, and the costs for outfits, makeup, and business expenses. They just vanish in a blink. So, what are you trying to say? We need your support every month. Our finances are in dire straits. Briar keeps up appearances, splurging on brands and all. You might have made some effort, but Lisa has worked several times harder. Don't mock me. I've been popular since my child actor days. That's exactly the delusion I'm talking about. The same goes for you too. Asking for support just because you found out Lisa's famous is ridiculous. I don't want charity from Lisa. Don't be so selfish. We don't have any money left. We're completely broke. Finally, my parents expressed their true feelings. 
Once popular, Briar had now become completely unknown, with hardly anyone from the younger generation recognizing her name. Faced with a reality she most dreaded, Briar reacted. Don't joke with me. It's your lack of effort in promoting me, isn't it? You all lived luxuriously off my earnings, didn't you? Wait, Briar. What's gone into you all of a sudden? There's nothing sudden about it. If I say I'm popular, then I am. It's your job to support me to make that happen. Briar, don't talk to us like that. You act like you're the only one suffering. Compared to Lisa, who endured being belittled for all sorts of reasons, you've had it easy. Shut up. I don't care if you're a famous actor or whatever. You have no taste for marrying Lisa. Don't talk nonsense. Lisa is the best wife in the world. She's never made a fool of herself like you have. Don't raise your voice in front of all these staff members. It's embarrassing. Where's the patience you've supposedly developed in the entertainment industry? Shut up. And Lisa. I just remembered, weren't you chosen for the lead in the remake of The Visitor from the Sky? Don't get cocky over something like that. I'm not getting cocky. I'm here for the promotional shoot for that drama. Sorry to interrupt, but Lisa was personally invited by the show. Lisa is in high demand across various programs, unlike you. That's what annoys me. No matter how angry you get, Lisa is a popular actress, you're just a self-proclaimed entertainer. What did you say? Say that again. Self-proclaimed entertainer. Don't you dare repeat that. Arg. Briar, in a fit of frustration, began to lash out at her parents, Noah, and me. Ah, uh, enough. Everyone here is so useless. Calm down. Your parents are bad, but you're even worse. It's because you forget to be grateful to others that no one wants anything to do with you. Well said, Noah. You're absolutely right. You have no right to lecture me. It's your inability to accept others' opinions that's the problem. I have nothing to learn from you. Actually, I think you have a lot to learn. Hey, producer, please be quiet right now. I'm having an important conversation here. I heard Briar was difficult, but she really has a bad attitude. Exactly like the rumors. Maybe we should limit how much we film her today. Oh dear. Once the staff starts disliking you, it's all downhill. In an industry where trust is everything, look what you've done. I haven't said anything wrong. You're the ones complaining. If you think our advice is just complaints, then there's no point in talking to you. Ugh. Say whatever you want. I have more experience than you. Experience alone. Just being there doesn't mean you contribute anything. You're just a salary thief. TV budgets can't afford to waste money on you. You should be grateful to have me appear on your show. Briar, I'm sorry, but we can't handle this anymore. What do you mean by that? Frankly, Briar, you have a bad reputation. I thought of our long relationship, but we won't be using you again with that kind of attitude. The producer finally lost patience with Briar's selfish remarks. We won't be using you again. No entertainer who was told this by this producer has ever made a comeback. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Briar and her parents reacted. Wait, please wait a minute. I can't wait. Please give Briar another chance. His words are final. Hey, Lisa, don't just stand there. Convince him. Once you've angered the producer, there's no going back. Then Lisa, you support us. We can't survive without help. It's a perfect opportunity for you to show gratitude to your parents. Lisa, you're earning, so you should help your family. Is that how you ask for help? Please, I beg you. Support us. I refuse. Why not? Because Lisa has no obligation to support you. If you claim to be a successful celebrity, then work hard and earn your own way. We're about to start filming. I've been called for the shoot. Briar, you should get ready too. This might be your last job. Briar finally realized that her time in the spotlight had ended years ago. However, her futile pride and her parents' commotion led to all three being escorted out by security. The incident was leaked by insiders and humorously reported in Weekly Bun Chu. Briar's poor reputation was already a topic of discussion on internet forums, with entire threads dedicated to her. This marked the end of any hopes for a comeback, and she completely retired from the entertainment industry. Briar and her parents, who had been overly dependent on her earnings and spent extravagantly, lost their sense of money management. Unable to adapt to a normal life, they accumulated debts and were chased for repayments, 
eventually leading them to a life under a bridge, a stark contrast to their former days of fame and fortune. As for me, the co-star is Soda Fukuda, right? Yes. He has such a small face and a great style, and he's a really nice person. Oh, but I'm more handsome, right? Are you getting jealous, Noah? No, I'm not. That kind of makes me happy. Well, of course. You're my beloved wife, after all. My drama shooting was going smoothly. Hearing about my co-star, Noah, blushed and showed a hint of jealousy. Despite being a popular actor, Noah remained his usual self with me, which I found incredibly endearing. We both had busy schedules, leading to some mismatches in our lives, but we knew that as long as our hearts were connected, we could overcome any temporary separations. We promised to fully commit to our dreams and keep supporting each other. Thus, we continued to live our lives with gratitude and smiles, day by day. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.